I've had the Anbernic RD35XX SP for about a month now. I've made an impressions video, and now here is my full review. For the device itself, I really like the design. I did not have a GBA SP growing up. I had the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance. And I jumped straight into the Nintendo DS. It is also relatively small when closed, so it is very portable. Looking at it closed, this is a well-built device. At the top, you have your inline shoulder buttons, mini HDMI, and the USB port. At one side, you have your power and reset button, and the other you have your volume. At the bottom, you have your two micro SD card slots and one 3.5 mm jack. Opening it up, you have your screen here. Props to Anbernic for including a screen protector. The menu key, D-pad, face button, and function keys. The D-pad is great with diagonals not being easily triggered. Being an Anbernic, the build is very good. I've put this on my backpack and doesn't have any scratches yet. Ergonomically, as it is using the Game Boy Advance SP form factor, it may not be the best. Add in the fact that it uses inline shoulder buttons, and the games that frequently use it may take some time getting used to. I usually press R1 and L1 using the middle of my finger, and the tip is usually on rest. And with this, accidental presses may occur. Though honestly, it may not be that bad considering the form factor wants the games to be played to be basically restricted to GBA SPS controls. Turning on the device, we actually have some improvements here over the RG35XXH. There are visual changes here and there, and more options are available at the start. There is also an app here called Application Center, which is added for easier customizations. Of course, you can install a more recent firmware on the RG35XXH, but it's a hassle to do. With regards to battery life, Anvernix says 8 hours, and for the most part, that is true. I always test the battery by looping in Tekken 6's intro over and over again. The Anvernix RG35XXH was able to last hours, about 6 hours, and the RG35XXSP is the same. This is impressive, so playing systems slower than PSP should net you more. Going into performance, the RG35XXSP comes with the all-winner H700, and for PS1 and below, it is great. It can also play some Dreamcast, Nintendo DS, and N64. You can also run PSP here. Check my performance test for the all-winner H700 for more PSP games. Mind you, there are no analog sticks here, so 3D-oriented games may not be playable by default. Nintendo DS games typically use the analog sticks as pointer and clicker. You may have a hard time playing those. Since the design is lifted off of mainly a 2D oriented gaming system, stick to those games. I would also like to praise the ease of connecting Bluetooth controllers and the functional HDMI. Hook this up to your TV and connect two Bluetooth controllers and you're basically set. Great for two player gaming with your partner or friends. Speaking of games, if you buy this from Anvernix Shopee store, it comes preloaded with games, making this a great buy and play system. One of the things I still don't like is the software itself. Again, there has been quite a lot of improvement since December 2023 comparing with the Anvernix RD35XXH, but this is still not the best software if you want more granular control. There is still a confusing dual app one called Game Rooms, and the other called RA Game. Retro achievements is still not easily accessible, and there is still no option for OTA update. Okay, I think I've rambled on long enough. Where does that leave us with the Anvernic RG35XX SP? For the pros, great build, HDMI out, Bluetooth connectivity is easy, performance is relatively good, a great battery, and a great buy and play system if you buy from Shopee's store. For the cons, you have your basically useless Wi-Fi, missing software features, no analog sticks, but this is not really an issue given the hardware's inspiration. Custom firmware is also not there yet. 
We have custom firmware options but none of them are very polished and I'm waiting for more updates on the newly software. The Anbernic RG35XXSP is basically the RG35XX in a clamshell Game Boy Advance SP form. As of writing, the only thing really separating these two are the form factor and the price. In a vacuum, the Anbernic RG35XXSP is a very good retro handheld. Outside of that vacuum, it is still a good one. For me, where I usually only play 2D games on retro handheld, the Anbernic RD35XXSP is a great choice as it offers me great battery life and more portability. For other people, the best comparison is its own sibling in the Anbernic RD35XXH. This one is cheaper, it has analog sticks giving you more access to more games. For this one, it really comes down to personal preference and games you usually play, and if the premium of the form factor is worth it over minor added functionality. Thank you so much for watching guys. Consider like, sharing, and subscribing if this is useful. This has been Norman3000. See you soon, and happy gaming!